Hey, hey, procedures, how you doing? Okay, uh, this week, as you can see, we're looking at monorails, and uh, like it comes up on the screen there, it's available immediately upon on the workshop, yeah, uh, including the explosions. Now, we'll get to the explosions later, that's part of the fun, but for the time being, um, let me just explain what you're seeing. It's a sort of double infinite loop here, uh, with two gates at either side and a big switching track in the middle. And the, the middle part is really important because this battle cart here, which is what exploded earlier, picks up the little guy and takes it into the, uh, the middle gate, right? And it's only there can the other trains pick it up. And all the chain, trains can join together. They've got their own little joining system. It's up to you to work it all out. But here's the sequence in full, or one of the sequences, there's many. The number one train you see there reversed up, you switch the gates in and he's on the inside track now and he'll bomb round to pick up this guy. But the battle cart, first of all, has to pick up uh, the carriage and drop it in the middle, as you will see it do now. There we go, drops it. And then we spin it around and then number one train comes. Now the number one train's just gonna dump it here so that number two train can come and get it in the opposite direction, just to show you. Uh, and we'll see that happening now. So you can see there's quite a lot of um, new novel things about this compared to last week. I've added in a lot of systems and a lot of ideas. So I just wanted to see how far I could run with it. A few people did ask me if I could do the monorail. And um, so I agreed to it because I'd done one before, but I thought we can do something better this time, a lot better. I tried doing the sleeping cat style monorail on top, but um, I had stability issues with that. So I might come back to that again sometime. Anyway, there we go, we've hooked up. The second train this time picked up the little carriage and it's running with it. Battle cart sitting there doing nothing, but again, he's got a job later on and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so let's have a bit of fun then with the battle car for a while. Right, so the first thing as you notice is these two dangly bits hanging off the front with the bombs, right? Now, they've got a purpose in mind because I was, really was thinking about the freighters and could I multi-purpose them? So one is to slingshot like this, out, let it go away, bang, that was quite easy. The second one is to pick up one of the freighters and then drop it onto another freighter. Uh, I picked, obviously I'd blown up the first one, so I'll go around and I'll try to get the second freighter and I had a couple of goes at it and I kept, just watch this, it knocks the grabber for six right up into the air and it just comes swinging back down, bosh. So I killed it, but not the way I intended, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, before we get back to that, um, I had another challenge, which was to get onto the turntable <laughs> In one go, without actually stopping on it, you just keep rolling, the turntable changes, and you keep coming off, and I kept blowing up. In the end, I got it. On it goes. Quick changeover. Boom. But I'd put too much spin onto the car, and it just wobbled right off and self-destructed. Biatch. But don't worry, because I nailed it on the next go. So here we go. Here's the good one. From the top. <clears throat> Straight on. I had to slow it down a little bit. He doesn't stop moving on a turntable, keeps going, lines up the first guy. So what he does is he dumps the bombs this time and then gets himself lined up. I want to grab this guy. Down it spins. Both of them put on two for good measure, yeah? Because sometimes one doesn't work or it snaps under pressure. As you will see, one of the, it actually doesn't snap, but it, it sort of breaks up. It's a nice angle there, isn't it? Sweet. So I drag its ass around here, and just as I'm about to let it go, it breaks up anyway, but the pieces, they do the job for me. Job done, no problem. Okay, so I think I'm safely past this train. I fire my cannons, watch this, slow motion to take out the far away one, because they go either side of the track. And I discovered that my grabbers grabbed the train as I was passing, so I'm in trouble again, I can't get it finished off. I've got one more to get, and boom, the shrapnel gets it. So I cleaned out the freighters. So that was a ton of fun, that really was. Okay, um, if you're downloading this one, um, please give it a vote, by the way, because it helps it to, to stay up in the charts. It really is important to me if you give it a vote. If you, if you download it and you like it, please upvote it on the workshop. Okay, so once again, what this thing's got to do is it's got to carefully, very carefully, pick up a small carriage, because the double carriages can't, can't do this. They can't handle the turntable and the carriage. It's got to dump it there move on, then you spin it round, and then you sit. And then here comes train number one again. This time it will pick it up and run with it. It lets it go because it didn't quite grab the um, spinners this time, and then it 
picks it up again and that's it, no problem. Off it goes. Right, and then we'll just put the battle cart back onto the track here and send him off for a little spin just to see everything going at the one time. So I've got one, two trains are operated by me and then another one's on automatic that you can see train number two. I've got both of these gates operated by left and right so if you want what you will have to do is remap them if you want them to go individually but it's more fun doing it like this because sometimes you get into a mess and everything just goes completely pear-shaped so that's that right this is a speeded up sort of driver drive version and i used uh, the camera t camera rotation mod uh, itr's mod so that we could sort of follow it around and get and it speeded up about three or four times so it's, a, it's good fun. It's a great track. I've spent hours and hours playing with it, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, this one here is when you get the two twin carriages, they join up together as well. And you can even get the first carriage on to make... In fact, you can get six carriages all joined up if you use a battle cart as well. You've just got to figure out how to do it. And that's part of the puzzle. I had intended uh, to do a um, tutorial and stick it on at the end of this this week, but I didn't get it finished. I've recorded all the material, but I haven't edited it yet. Um, so next week maybe, have a look at these videos meantime, in particular have a look at the, the secret one and follow up on the hidden links and you'll see the whole story as it unfolded on Reddit. Thanks very much, catch you next week, bye!